Hi everybody, my name is Josh Ritter. I'm a product development engineer here at Advanced Cooling Technologies, and today I'm going to be giving a brief overview of our isothermal furnace line and product line, or IFLs for short. So an IFL is an annular heat pipe that helps to redistribute heat within a calibration furnace to achieve a highly uniform temperature profile as well as reduce temperature gradients. Calibration furnaces are used by metrology laboratories to achieve a precise temperature uh, to calibrate their temperature measurement equipment off of, and an IFL simply helps to achieve that temperature set point. So on the board here I have some benefits for IFLs written. Um, Temperature uniformity within less than 0.1 degrees Celsius is typically achievable. Uh, simplified temperature recovery, increased productivity, energy savings, and temperature stability. I also have the basic construction of an IFL drawn up here. Um, so in its simpler, simplest form, we have an outer tube, an inner tube, and a screen wick material that is covering the entire inner surface of the IFL to facilitate the heat transfer. Uh, typically, the tube materials are made out of Inconel 600 for high temperature performance uh, and also high temperature strength and also oxidation resistance. Uh, so when you, when you charge your IFL, you use uh, typically alkali metals as the working fluids because these are operating within a calibration furnace at very high temperatures. Um, so you don't usually want to use water for an IFL. We typically go with uh, alkali liquid metals, the, the three main um, most often used ones are cesium, potassium, and sodium. And you choose your working fluid based off of your expected operating temperatures. Uh, so for cesium, you have typically 300 to 600 C as your operating temperature. Uh, with potassium, you have 400 to about 1,000 C. And then with sodium, uh, that's typically our, our uh, highest operating temperature working fluid between 500 and 1,100 degrees Celsius. Uh, so most often we use Inconel 600 with these working fluids, uh, but if you're trying to get uh, really close to 1100C or above, we would typically go with a, a Haynes 230 super alloy, which has even uh, an even higher temperature performance than Inconel 600. Um, typically more expensive, so we, we most often use the, the Inconel 600, but we do have the capability to go, uh, to go stronger and higher temperature than that if, uh, if a customer desires. Uh, so that's it for the basic overview of IFLs. Uh, for more information, please visit our website, and thanks for watching.